guys welcome to reds outdoors once again we've been fishing in some of the videos but one thing i haven't tried was magnet fishing and i see a lot of videos on it but i've never tried it so i ordered this little magnet definitely gonna keep it in the phone this thing is like 260 um, pounds of magnetic force in this little bitty thing and i've actually stuck it onto some things and it is kind of a pain to get off so don't want it sticking to the truck so I'm going to walk out here to a boat dock that they have and see if I can find anything. Found some real interesting things in some of the videos. This dock is used quite a bit, so we're going to see if we can find anything here. I haven't done this before, so wish me luck. Alright, so we're just going to start dropping it off the edge here. I don't know how deep this is. Let's see if we can find anything at all. Still hadn't hit bottom yet. There we go. Just gonna walk it along. It's stuck to something. Might have been part of the dock, I don't know. Looks like I got something here. I'm definitely hooked onto something. I dropped it. Ah, I was hooked on to something. Don't feel like I got anything on it. There's something right down here. I could feel it. There it is. It's not real magnetic. I can feel it kind of clink a little bit and it comes right off. Whatever this is, it's kind of big, and it's not sticking really great to the magnet. Ah, I just dropped it again. Whatever it is, it's buried in the mud. It's slipping. Something that's buried in the mud pretty good. Because I can see bubbles coming up when it starts moving. I lost it again. I don't know, whatever that is, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Move on. See all the bubbles coming up. I snagged something else under there. I wonder if it's chunks of metal from this dock. That's why I'm not able to grab it. Maybe some leftovers from when they were building it. Doesn't feel like there's anything on it. No, just some little metal fragments. Oh. No. There's two things down here that are pretty big. She's going to try her look at it. Looks like we got another little crappie jig. I guess people like fishing for crappie out here. It makes three of those. I'm on something right here. But it keeps slipping. It. Oh, it was a fishing line. That's what I felt slipping. Didn't even have it with the magnet. I hooked the line and I hooked my rope. <laughs> there a rod and reel attached to it? That would be nice. No. Well, I guess I'm, somebody's lying out of the water anyways. Over here the rest of it. I 
of anything else, we're getting some trash out of the lake. Definitely want to get the fishing line out. That can cause all kinds of havoc with animals in here. All right, so we tried the first dock, found a couple of crappie jigs, and that was about it. So we're gonna hit, I got two more docks out here we're gonna hit, see if we have any luck on those. And this is aluminum. Yeah, good. That way it won't get stuck on it. This water is only like two feet deep right here. But you never know when somebody might drop something off. I have no idea how deep the water is here. I'm just gonna kind of drag this thing along the bottom. And now it's not very deep. I can actually see the magnet. Starting to get deeper. Elena just caught a few things. We got, get on here, some Bud Light cap. Oh, wrong way. Back camera. Got Corona Light, some hooks. I know it's something. Got quite a few hooks off of that one. All right. Ow. Yeah, that one's still got some sharpness to it. What is that? Some random chunk. That's a that's another magnet. <laughs> yeah, that's pieces to another magnet. Somebody else has been down here doing this. Uh, so so far, uh, only thing we've managed to capture were some bottle lids, Honey. or some bottle caps, some hooks, wait. and fishing weight. So. We're still gonna go around the other side of this dock and if nobody's on the other dock when we get done here, we'll try over there. One thing people, please, please, when you go out to the lakes or anywhere outdoors, please pick up your trash. I mean, that is, that's ridiculous, guys. So, always pick up your own trash. Don't make other people do it. And why is that? That's a steel weight and that's on there good and some more hooks so a couple more things um, well, I thought it was funny while it goes we got that another piece of a magnet I mean somebody else has probably already been down here trying this so they might have cleaned all the good stuff up but we're gonna keep trying just gonna drag this and see if I feel anything clink something clink got a little knife a little cheap one hadn't been down there too long it's just got a little bit of dirt and gunk in it let's say on it that's kind of stuck so I have to clean that out fury furry I don't know. It's 
stainless. It don't already have that much crud on it, so that's not a bad one. Let's see if we can find anything else. It's got a Pontiac symbol on it. What are the odds of that? All right, so this was my first time magnet fishing. Not the best catch in the world. Um, didn't get to do the other dock. It is over 100 degrees out here today in Texas. And she's getting a little bit too hot, so we're going to go and shut it down and go find something else to do today. But what we did catch today, let me show you here. So, not a whole lot. Best thing was definitely the old knife with the, I don't know if you can, it'll focus on that, but it's got the little, got a Pontiac symbol on it. I don't know if that's actually supposed to be a Pontiac symbol or not. These you didn't see. We didn't have the camera running, but a couple of screws, a few hooks, um, some jig heads, and some bottle caps. So, that's about it for our first time. This, you know, my new magnet I got. I mean, it was only like, I think 16 bucks on Amazon so not too terribly expensive and that's it for today thank you guys for watching hope you have a great day we'll see you next time here on Reds Outdoors have a good day